We're back. It's myself, DJ Jammer. It's a Gen Music Show. You know how we get down, where we interview people, we talk faith, we talk music, and we, we have a bit of a chat, a little bit of a catch up. So this week, it's my pleasure to have on the show a good friend of mine. I've only known him a short while, but this is my brother, or my another mother. He's a man of God, he's a husband, and a professional footballer for Shoesby Town and a fellow Gunner. Also plays for Grenada. It's my man, Omar Beckles. What are you saying, brother? What's happening? What's happening? What's you like happening? them big, them big I like that, I like you that, that. You like that? Big me up too much, not going to lie. Yeah, bro, you deserve it, bro. You know what I mean? I've got to know you. And, yeah, I know you. I know you. Oh, I, you, get I hear you. I appreciate it. You know what I mean? So, bro, like I say, glad to have you in the show. Um, like I said in the intro, professional footballer, a man of God, mm-hmm. a husband, Actually, I want to shout out your wife, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wanna, she deserves a shout out. Yeah, still. bro. You know, your wife is, uh, she's a blessing, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Her, her, you know what? You know, I got love for your wife because she reminds me of my wife. She, hey. she, she, she's, she's, she's no nonsense. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, defo, defo. 100%. No filter. No, <laughs> no filter. No, bro. <laughs> Shoot from the hip. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah, I, sometimes yeah. I look at you and I think, I know how I'm a old man's feet. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel like. Mm-hmm. Don't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh, don't get me started, don't get me started, serious. Don't, not now, <laughs> chill, <laughs> chill. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, much, much love and a uh, big shout out to that, Dahlia, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. No, shout yeah. out to you, Dahlia. <laughs> um, so, bro, let's just get straight into this. Professional footballer, I know you're passionate about your faith. Mm. That's what I'm thinking of learn. Just getting to know you in this short time, you're ashamed of it and love God, do you know what I mean? So really, being a professional footballer and being in that world, talk to me about, actually let's start with your journey in your faith. How did that start? Where did it begin? Okay, well, I was kind of born in it from early. Dad was a, I'm a pastor's kid, okay. so dad was a pastor, brought up in church. Um, but I kind of was brought up on second-hand faith. That's what okay. I call it. Okay. So I went to church, did all the things you were meant to do. Mm-hmm. Um, but then as soon as I became of age, peer pressure, so on and so forth, I drifted. Okay. Was in the world, went left. And um, yeah, just started doing my own thing. You know what I mean? Right, right. Started feeding the flesh and um, just strayed, just strayed. And at the same time, I guess I was venturing into football, weren't going to church often on Sundays. Um, so yeah, that was part of the journey. Then after, after kind of going along a journey of doing football, things not working out for me, having those experiences of, I put everything into football, football became my God in a way. Yeah, yeah. And then after when I had to deal with the upsets and all of that, um, being play, playing semi-pro, semi-professional football. And then after just dealing with that disappointment, just not feeling satisfied, raving during the week and all of that. I just felt this empty feeling, that void. Um, And I wanted to fill that void and then started asking my father questions. He kind of discipled me and guided me in the right way. And I just was really convicted. I always believed in God, always knew God was there, but I never truly um, was walking in a relationship. I knew, I believed in Jesus and I believed it all, but I just didn't walk in the relationship. So I made, I took that step and I, w- I was really convicted and then my life just kind of had that turnaround and I started, yeah, had that same trajectory where I started climbing the ladder football-wise. My dad passed away in that process as well. Okay. Um, but yeah, so, but I, that, I saw God step in for me in that moment and I had an encounter and an experience in that moment that just built my faith. 
so here I am today, yeah. No, that's blessed, bro. And I think, you know, the word you use, encounter, I think is so important to that process, that building. You know, Therefore, faith and relationship with God. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So uh, I like that word. I take it, talk to me a little bit about um, the relationship with your dad, because you said he mentored you. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me a little bit about that. Because yeah. I, the reason I asked that, um, so many PKs or the PKs that I've come across mm-hmm. tend to have a resentment mm-hmm. against their parents. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like you're the one that's locked me into this thing. <laughs> you know, it's because of you. Why? Yeah, definitely. Why am I Christian? You get me? But it seems to me that there's a different vibe coming from you. Talk to me about I think about the it. vibe is because I'm maybe of age and maybe a bit more mature now, but okay. I was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like, ah. Oh, like whether it was we used to drive up to Wolverhampton okay to my dad was a he passed to the branch from the church that we were part of in East London and we had to travel up every Sunday right. and that was time away from me doing football on a Sunday um, there was nights where we spent in hours in the office during the week my my childhood wasn't a normal childhood <laughs> do you know what I mean it was just different it was yeah, different yeah. so that for me was that I had that resentment in that time. If right, I if right. I was exposed to the the normalities of other kids, whether it was I could have dedicated that time to training or whatever, yeah, so yeah, on yeah. and so forth. I think, oh, I could have been this, I could have been that. But I look back and I just see there's so much purpose behind it. I saw my dad's heart and yeah. commitment that, that I learned a valuable lesson off of that. Mm. Um, so yeah, there's not. It's, I wouldn't call it resentment, but it's, it's. I feel like I'm definitely. I appreciate that journey. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, and my dad, my dad played such a pivotal role. He was a musician as well. Okay. He was part of a band, Central Line, which was on top of the pops. What? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. Proper, he done. Okay. He was, he was on stuff. So. Yeah. What, what um, instrument did he play? Um, he was the lead singer. What? But he, he was like production. He, okay. Like, he okay. produced. Yeah, yeah. And sung. So, but he, he wasn't specifically a musician. So yeah, yeah, to say, yeah, he had yeah, a yeah. pianoist and uh, a drummer and all those mm. and a guitarist. Um, but he was the lead singer, but okay. he would produce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all. So, so yeah. Um, but he was multifaceted. He was a multifaceted yeah, yeah, icon yeah. in my eyes. Nice. So, so yeah. So he definitely inspired me nice. in so many ways. Yeah. That's blessed, bro. That's blessed. No, it's good to hear you. You know, people talk and, and give honor mm. to their parents. You know, a lot of the youths out there don't even own man. You know. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, man. So let's talk a little bit about how your faith kind of like interacts, supports and kind of like governs you in the world of football, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Because obviously as we can see, football, money, temptation, girls, just everything that's in that world. Talk to me about how your faith supports you or, I don't know, navigates, how it, how, how it helps you. That I think um, my faith is like that, that's that firm foundation I stand on. So, um, my relationship with God is what guides me. It guides me in making sound choices. I think sometimes we, what people do with living a life without God, they trust their own ability, their own instincts and their own desires. Yeah, yeah. And I just don't trust myself that much. I know my own desires. I know I know my own heart. I know yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. like. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know yeah, the yeah. old me. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm like, I'm not trying to be that guy in it because yeah, yeah. I would make decisions purely selfish. Um, and purely self-serving, but it's just not going to benefit the will of God. Yeah, yeah. So through, I feel like the whole re- walk of faith is is surrender. It's to surrender. It's to 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 submit to His will, not your own. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I try my best to try and walk in that. I, I, I read the Word. I think that guides me as much as I can um, to to make sure I'm making those sound decisions in those moments. Um, yeah it's tough man it's tough when you're in a football environment it's intense yeah like the football dressing room all that you're exposed to it's it's pure alpha male ego yes, yes. power trip yeah, yeah, all yeah. of that that's just that's what it is. standard that's yeah. the norm so, so yeah go on, go on so yeah that's 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 the norm yeah, in yeah. that football environment especially when you're out on the pitch yeah so so yeah it's it's channeling channeling it in the right way right because I've definitely had experiences in the past where I've not channeled it in the right way and not been a good representation of that. But I'm, I'm learning. It's a journey. It's a continuous journey. So, so what are the, some of the toughest things you face or the toughest temptations or the hardest things you face as a Christian in that world? Uh, toughest things you face. I would say... All right, so there's, for instance, 
you, a, a, every period around the Christmas time, um, you have a Christmas do. Yeah. And uh, there's lads that may want to opt to do certain things that are just not of your values. Right. Uh, females, drink, whatever it may be. Um, but there's this, you're, I get torn personally between the building that togetherness, team bonding and going out and being a part of the camaraderie and all of that. And then the reality of, but I'm not going to do what you're doing. Do you know what I mean? So I'm, it's like you're in the world, but not of it. But what does that look like as a yeah, footballer? Yeah, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so that's probably something. I think as well, something that I've wrestled with and prayed for me on that, like swearing in, in that environment. Sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's habits that I've created from a young age. And when I'm in the zone, like there's no controlling over yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Some some of the things that I'm saying, I'm like, I need to channel that. And I've, if I've improved over the years, do you know what I mean? So, so that's something that, that I've needed needed help with. And that's a real challenge. Um, but there's so many, man. So I many, can imagine, so many. I can yeah, imagine, yeah. especially like you say, being, wanting to be with the lads, mm -hmm. you know, around them and just mm -hmm. that constant, I suppose, peer pressure. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? definitely, definitely. Mean, like you say, not wanting to seem like a nutter by withdrawing and you know, secluding. That, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I can imagine just trying to catch the balance. In yeah, yeah. Bro, well, I appreciate your, your honesty and your openness, do you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, I think that's where we do get the truth. When we're, when we're, I like what you've, you said. You says, I don't trust myself. Yeah, yeah. You know, 100%. <laughs> you know, that's just such a great place to start. Mm -hmm. Actually, stop trusting yourself. Stop thinking yeah. you actually can win this battle and the oh. temptations mm -hmm. you face. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Understanding that there is a place of surrender, a place of being weak. Yeah, yeah. But when you're weak, mm -hmm. Strong. No, defo, defo, so, 100%. I like what you said. Big, 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 big. <laughs> big. It's how we get down. It's Gen Music <laughs> Show. It's my man Omar Jamo. Chopping it up, man. <laughs> we're, we're going in. <laughs> you get me? So, bro, let's talk. Uh, let's talk music. Go on. Do you know what I mean? Because I know Thank music you. plays. We're gonna get into some. You know, we're gonna mm. get there. But I know music plays a big part in yeah. with footballers. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole preparation. Well, for some footballers. Yeah. You know yeah. What I mean, how does music play a part in your preparation in your life just generally? Footballer at home. Yeah. Yeah. You know, talk to me about music. Um, well, I was brought up kind of obviously my dad was a musician, so yeah, music yeah. played such a pivotal part in my life. My sister um, used to absolutely rinse. She's a dancer, so she used to rinse like every time I come back from school, she's like rinsing music, music, music. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so she kind of and she opened up my appetite for different types of music. So as a girl and as a dancer, she would listen to different kind of genres. So, and I think my family's always had that. Do you know what I mean? Whether it was, I took my sister, she was a big fan of Red Hot Chili Peppers. So, okay. I took her to a Red Hot Chili Peppers concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was two years ago now. Okay. But like, like she loved them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and and yeah. I, I appreciated artists and bands like that. Um, so yeah, I have a wide like variety of music that I listen to. Um, I tend to, predominantly I have like a playlist that's like a, Christian playlist where I've got worship music, I've got maybe some of the old school gospel, some of the artists you sent me. Oh, okay. So um so yeah, there's a lot of rap in that as well. So yeah, yeah. I, I guess I spent a lot of my time in there because I think it feeds me as well. It right. satisfies me in a different way, in a deep way, I feel. Okay. Um so yeah, but I but I listen to all sorts of music. I, I guess I'm I'm finding it hard embracing the modern day drill trap music and no, all of that. Don't need to talk about that. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to go there. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So that. that's that's for Roger. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the guy behind the camera. We don't, we, we don't need to. Talk, we don't need to talk about his music and all the mumble rap and uh, the skittle locks and tight jeans, guys. We don't need to talk about that. If you want more, you listen to the QC show for that one. But yeah, yeah. Or listen to his live show. Yeah. If you're into skittle locks and tight jeans. <laughs> Just check out his show, the lift show. Guy. He's your guy. Yeah, he will hook, give you the hook up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. So, so yeah, man. So, who are you listening to at the moment? So, well, right now, who's you listening right to now? on the way up here? So, Kanye West has just released his new Boom. Jesus is King. Shout out to Kanye. Appreciate um, that album. Yeah, yeah. Um, Eshon Burgundy. His new, album, his new album, Love Serious. Of Money. Oh, Serious, Serious, yeah, Serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been sending it out to all my mates. Serious. Know. So I listen to him. Um, who else is there? Is um, that one that one you sent me as well? 
Oh, yes, William, is it William? William Cata, Cata. William Cata. Yeah, yeah. William Cata, yeah. So him, that's live, by the way. That was Told serious. Told you, bro. That was serious. <laughs> that and like his content, I, I love the content in it. I love the depth within the lyrics in it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, something yeah. I can listen to and appreciate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he's he's wavy. Shout out to William. Yeah, Cata, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I, t- I tend to listen to a lot of like worship music as well. Okay. So whether that might be, uh, whether it be Elevation, whether yeah. it might be um, Maverick City is a new one. Yeah. Okay. Um, Bethel Music. Yeah. So them sort of people, Travis yeah. Green, all those right, sort of people. Right, right. So, so yeah, I appreciate all, all, of, that, all of that. All, all of that. All that. Yeah, yeah, well yeah. Around it. Love it, bruv. Love it, bruv. So this is the part of the show. We're just going to, we're going to get, get into it a little bit. Actually, shall we talk a little bit about Kanye? Shall we? If you because I know we, we were we were messing each other yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know. I, and you sent me a message saying, bro, have you listened to the Kanye album? I, like, <laughs> I sent you a message back like, yeah, I'll listen to it, bro, but ain't feeling it. <laughs> you message, message me back, bro. What do you mean? Like, you're disappointed with me, What do you mean? <laughs> I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I, I was laughing because I thought, oh, my, my man's upset with me because... <laughs> wasn't feeling his album, but I'm taking you feeling it, bro. I'm taking it, it's something you got, you're appreciating. Hundred percent. I appreciate the journey. Um, I, looking at his journey, where he's come from, where he is now, yeah. and just seeing how he's using his platform as well. I've got a lot of time for that. I think I've been a massive fan of like Chance the Rapper, right? And I think he's almost perceived as a gospel artist, but I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. he ain't released nothing in time. And I'm just like, when are you? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean like I'm like, I need to. Someone needs to be representing in it, but mm-hmm. no one's representing. And he's just stepping up to the plate. So I guess maybe um the excitement is boiled, boiled down to he's representing yeah. on the mainstream, and the impact that's gonna have, especially when you see your friends that are non-believers, never been to church in their life, and they're posting up one of his tracks. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. that, he's infiltrating yeah. in a in a deeper way. So yeah. I appreciate that. I love the production personally on his on his album. I love how he's merged like gospel elements mm. into just modern music and, yeah, yeah. and almost very popular. Is it hip hop or yeah, yeah. whatever you call it? But like he's been able to merge the two yeah. to the point where that your average Joe who likes whether it's Migos or something, listens to the song and goes, oh my gosh, I, I like the sound or something mm. like that. But it's got gospel, it's yeah, got yeah. Fred Hammond featuring, yeah, 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 do you know what I mean? Yeah, something yeah, yeah. like that. So, so yeah, I've got a lot, yeah. a lot of time for that, a lot of time for that. I think, I think what he's doing, he's showing that it feels like this is not a, just a passing phase for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you yeah, know yeah. I mean? Like you say, you mentioned Chance the Rapper. We've seen a lot of hosts with Chance, you know, growing up Bible verses. Yeah, yeah. Social media, yeah. walking with a Bible and all that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, show me, show me, yeah, yeah. show me something. Back it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And there ain't been no backup. You get me? Whereas like Kanye is just like, yeah, mm-hmm. I've said it, but watch this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. My man's taking a bag of people to Jamaica, a bag of people to Chicago. He's going around the country and putting on quality That's services, cool. putting mm-hmm. that album, mm-hmm. all which is his name, all up in there. You know? All over it. Yeah. So with that being said, you gotta you gotta salute that. Hundred you know? percent. And don't get me wrong at the same time as well like knowing Kanye and I, I, I guess Kanye's been a, a good lyricist he's not been the best lyricist though mm-hmm. there's been way better lyricists out there in it so I've never been someone that's thought Kanye's gonna satisfy that craving that I have for deep content yeah. do you know what I mean he's never yeah, been yeah. that guy for me right, right, right. he's never really been that guy so I think to myself okay if that's the case I kind of that's why I kind of don't I never had a mad ex- expectation on that Whereas you get the likes of Isham, Isham Burgundy and William yeah, Cata, yeah, yeah, yeah. where they've got a bit more content and yeah. a bit more meat, more substance to what they're saying. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I think it's, for what it is at the stage he's at, I think it's like that milk that's perfect for those that are not believers to, yeah. to understand this very and, basic. And that's why, that's where I can appreciate where he's, it's exactly where he is, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I understand the, cre- the creative process of where he's at, so yeah, I can yeah. see that and I can yeah. appreciate it. Just in terms of, album overall it's just like ah, sorry homie swear down one track bro it's two nah, not one man two you can't bro take it there. Push. you know what i mean nah, and, man. I, I gotta keep it real but with, it's not like right because of that i'm gonna throw the whole thing out it's like yeah. i see everything and i'm looking yeah. at it overall yeah, yeah. and i'm like I, I, 
I'm respecting it. Because I'm a fan as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a fan of Kanye. Oh, hey. And I have said on many a blog and post, this guy is a genius. Mm-hmm. Production-wise, he's a genius. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah, so, um, overall, what he's doing, can't knock it. He's stepping up to the plate. But just from the album perspective... Mm-hmm. <sighs> but where is that coming from? It's like, where is that only one track? Like, what is that judgment based on? It's based on the production. The production The production to me is just, I, I feel like the production has come from a place of, he is just putting out his own thoughts, his own sense of, uh, this is a sacrifice to you, God. This yeah. is me, where I am today yeah. with you. And I'm gonna create something where I am, creatively, production, mm. music. I'm just gonna do something that I need to put out now mm. uh, and that's where I feel it's it's weak it's I, I, I can't appreciate the, the 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 process of that production I just I'm not just not feeling it. like mm. I listen to some of his and this is probably my problem because I know what he can do yeah, yeah, yeah his genius level of production in the past you. so I'm gonna automatically judge it and compare it to that mm. which is probably wrong of me but this mm. is who he is he's yeah. done this to me yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kanye, <laughs> this, is, fault. this is your fault bro. <laughs> he did it <laughs> <laughs> you get me you set the bar so high bro do you know what i mean and now you've come and i i appreciate that this is your this is your first offering to god but you know what <laughs> come album free bro ain't enough. you get me i'm expecting bangers no, yeah. <laughs> straight up bangers but again I'm probably just being biased because I'm a hip hop head. Yeah, you understand yeah. what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And I just want the chop chop, grimy, mm. you know, I want to hear grit. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. That's probably just my yeah, my yeah. expectation of it. I hear you. I hear you. I think, um, yeah, it's not got that grit. It's not yeah. got. Are you talking about the grit that's similar to like Power yeah. and Jesus Walks? And, and yeah, and William, that, that William Catter type. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you. I hear you. And he's you know, got that. He has got that. But I, I guess, I guess it's that. It's a weird one, isn't it? Because I guess it is that journey. Isn't it? It's that discovery exactly, for him. Exactly. You listen, he, he doesn't he'll know he'll how much he can be like that now. Yeah. He's got to work that out. Yeah. yeah Do you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, he'll yeah. probably look back at that album and think, yeah, that was that was where I was creatively at that time. Mm-hmm. Two years time, he'll be in a different place creatively. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And hopefully, he will be. Mm. Um, the journey and the process it's like any any artist you know mm-hmm. what i mean you look at their first album like i can play no i can't i shouldn't even say that about ishan because ishan's album is just bangers all the way through you oh, know what oh, I mean? oh, <laughs> yeah oh. they're bangers yeah, yeah. from day oh, one to now yeah, they're bangers yeah. <laughs> you, Defo, Defo. But you see a, a creative journey yeah, yeah. in the process and i think that's where uh kanye is you know mm-hmm. what i mean i'm a fan man i told you kanye if you need a dj I'm that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I will give. You, I will represent, bro. You get me? No, 100. Yeah, if he are, when he comes over, though, bro. if he comes over to do a tour or anything like that, we was talking about this this morning. It's curtains, bro. Where yeah. do you host that? Wembley. Wembley. Or two has to be. No, yeah, Wembley. Yeah, yeah, has yeah. to be Wembley. Hundred percent to get the whole. Because you know how he's got the. Yeah, it has to be Wembley. Yeah, Use the football bro. pitch as it is. Yeah, yeah. Make it all the greenery. Him yeah, in yeah. the center stage. Bang. Done. Winner, bruv. How much have awesome. saved people? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, exactly. That's oh. evangelism on a, on a on grand a, level. And I think he's opened up doors for believers like us with your common man that will go, do you know what I mean? Oh, have you heard the album? Have you heard his album? Yeah, do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? It's an avenue for us to go. We see this opportunity now to go, oh, yeah. There you do go. Do you know what I mean? So what's he, what's he on? What's his journey? Exactly, what's he doing? exactly. And I think he's opened up. He's done something which I've wanted someone to do for a long Open time. Open up the door for conversation. Exactly. And not just with your common man. I was saying to Mm. brother did yesterday mm. he opened the, he is knocking on the industry door mm-hmm. like all the doors of mainstream media and industry that have shut the door to yeah, gospel yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanye now is Definitely. actually kicking on the door 100% he's kicking on it yeah, and yeah. they have to pay attention yeah, yeah. to what Kanye is doing even if they don't want to they have yeah, to yeah, yeah. because he's doing it on such a grand level yeah. bro that is you this brother no. I'm praying for him I'm 100%. praying that no, he's we have step- to, yo we have to have to have to because you, know you can't be taking such territory and taking such a stance after all that you've been through and think it's just going to be plain sailing there you go, bro. especially Kanye knowing Kanye and his journey his history you know that we're definitely going to have to support him 100% yeah, yeah, pray yeah. for the right people around him mm-hmm. surrounded by great people 
great pastors, mentors Definitely. that will speak life into him and yeah, his family yeah, yeah. so we can continue to have this conversation yeah. about Kanye five, six, seven, ten years time 100%. and see what God yeah. can do for his brother. We've seen what he's doing now, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Kanye. Mm. Hook me up, bro. Need some Jesus walk <laughs> drops. <laughs> <laughs> You get me? So this is how we're doing it. It's my man Omar Beckles. It's the Gen Music Show. We're having good talk, good chatter, mm. catching up. You get me? So, bro, we're going to get into this now. This is where fights break out. This is where. How many shows have I done now? This is the fifth one. And every time we have this section, go on. Bro, fans want to just get rowdy up in here. Let's have it. Let's do it. Let's have it. Let's have it. So it's a quick fire question round. This is where you need one answer from your brother. Okay. Okay. Whee. We're just gonna get into it. Now, obviously, on the last show. No, I won't even talk about that. We're just gonna get into it. Mm. Alright. VAR, yes or no? No. Not that. I won't even challenge that. No? Okay. But actually, why? Taking the spirit out of the game. Boom. Ripping the soul Taking out of the, the game. Taking the spirit out of the game. I, I get the understanding of needing to get it right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I think that's come from a place where managers were advocating, yeah, let's VAR, VAR. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I just think, they because they're under pressure and they're losing their jobs, that's why they're put peppering these referees to get it right. Because their team's losing and then they're blaming the referee for the fact that their team's not good enough or they've not drilled them enough. And I think that's why VAR's come in at the top because they've... That's the pressure that they're under. And their jobs now on the, line. the referees are bottling it and going to VAR. And this is what I'm saying. And then after you're sitting there five minutes down the line, no decision made, and then you match of the day is all talking about VAR. It's just gone, man. It's gone. gone. Long, long, long. Okay, bro. Um, Steven Gerrard or Frank Lampard? Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my days. I'm saying Stevie G. Oh, I'm that's what I'm Stevie talking G. about, son. I'm saying Stevie G. Stevie G. It's got to be Stevie G. He's a leader, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, the yeah. man that when you're in the he's, trenches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your foot's broken. He's carrying you. 100%. 100%. <laughs> he's carrying you across the field, bro. <laughs> Frankie Lampard, he's scoring goals and stepping over you. I think, if, I think if you look at the biggest highs that they've had, yeah, yeah. I think he... Stevie G's kind of got the biggest high in it. That Champions League final, 3 0 down, he carried the team to do Drag what he did. Through, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stevie he's G the man all got, the way. He's the man you want in war with you. 100%. He's the man you phone at 3 o'clock in the morning, you're Stevie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't die out. Lampard, it's his voicemail, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you now, though, I reckon Lampard will be a better manager than Stevie G, though. I don't know. That's a good, that's a good one, though. <laughs> I reckon he will. Do you reckon? I think his characteristics, um, I think there's a more, Stevie G's got that instinct as a player, but as yes. a manager, I don't know if he'll have that. I think he's got that leader though. Yeah. You know, the leadership in him. 100%. But I think, I think nowadays you don't need that as much. I think personally. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think if you've covered the basis tactically and you're, yeah, yeah. you conduct yourself, you know how to manage, manage people. I think Lampard might have that balance as a man. I'm going to throw this one in then. Go on. Who do you want to play for? Oh, wow. Stevie G or Frank Lampard? Or at Charles, no, I'm not going to throw the teams in. Stevie G or Lampard play for? I, just, I feel like, because I because I rate Stevie <laughs> G so much, Boom. I'd like to play on the Stevie G so. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm saying Stevie G. Yeah. There you go. You see, Lampard, I told you, bro. And they just... <laughs> All you about himself anyway. As <laughs> Plus he's Chelsea as well. And we know about them Chelsea fans. <laughs> we won't even start that debate. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh Nike or Adidas? Nike. Why? Because I've recently been wearing Nike. And that's okay. the only reason behind it. I've yeah. been I've been Adidas probably quite a lot of my career. Yeah, yeah. But they've changed their boots. And I've been so frustrated in that. So Nike's kind of ticked the box for me over the years where right, I've consistently right, right. wear their boots, so I have to stay say Nike is the team. Cool. Um, Van Dyke or Varan? Van Dyke. Yeah, Van Dyke. Van Dyke. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Beats by Dre or Apple earpods? Beats by Dre. Beats by Dre. Yeah, yeah. 
you can work with that one. Yeah, definitely. Work with that one. Hundred percent. All right. Wilfred Zaha or Nicholas Pepe? Oh. <laughs> oh. He's an Arsenal fan, by the way, so I knew this one would get him. Oh, man. And you know, Pep's just stepped up to the plate, innit, I bro? know, two free kicks. Bruv, and we know what's in his locker. Oh, man. I'm... S- <laughs> yeah, this is tense, man. You know, man has to look in the sky and think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot. It's heavy. It's heavy. Brain. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back Pepe Boom. because I've not seen, we've not seen the fullness of him yet in no, the Prem. No. Zaha's been around for a hot minute now. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So we know what he's got. I think he should have so much more goals and assists to his game. Personally speaking. All right, you're winning penalties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that's amazing. I think he could do so much more for what he is. Yeah. Um, I think there's a lot of men that have got big moves or whatever, but they've been at that team and they've duppied yeah, like yeah, yeah. goals, like yeah, yeah, yeah. doing the madness. And I think he he's in the middle of the in the middle of the pitch. His game is a joke. Yeah. But clinical in the final third, I just think he needs to needs to step up. Yeah, I yeah. think Pepe. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I think he's wavy wavy on the ball um, I just think he's grinding confidence bag two free kicks I don't, I've never seen Zaha do that I yeah. mean never seen him bag oh, two free kicks oh, in the game so oh. I'm saying Pepe's the guy I'm saying Pepe. he's the guy I'm That's saying I'm talking f- about. flare levels are mad bro when he brocks a man you know oh, bro he's moving mad bro he brocks mad. yeah remember yeah, it's in school and he yeah. brocked <laughs> but the thing is <laughs> nowadays it's just horrors because you get brack and it's just soccer here yeah? it's on social yeah, media yeah, a man goes viral for getting brack exactly it's a meme it's a meme it's in horrors. 10 years it's horrors it's yeah, horrors you, get me. you don't so, have yeah. to come off social media man yeah no yeah, it's yeah and Pep's, Pep's that guy yeah Pep definitely, that guy. definitely okay I'm gonna go a little bit back Thierry Henry or Ian Wright Thierry Henry was my era so oh, okay I'm Thierry Henry is man it? Thierry Henry he's, he and I oh, yeah, that's, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I can't go nowhere else because it's just going to get heated. I can't go nowhere else of saying Thierry Henry. Say Thierry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why, what are you saying? I'm saying Wright. What? Yeah, bro. Probably okay. because I'm a different generation. I hate, you. I hate you. Just what Ian Wright does. Mm-hmm. And I just, you know, he's one of, he's on my uh, thinking list. I got to meet Ian Wright. I want to meet yeah, a bucket yeah, list yeah, to yeah. him. Because I just think his banter game, bro. Can no, you imagine you. being in the, in the, Changing with that brother. Nah, it would have been ledge. It would have been ledge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. You'd be crying every day, bro. But you, I, I reckon Henri had a bit about him, though. I, I think just think so. I think that was something that for me, yeah, that right, banter levels probably wouldn't be like right, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I'm telling you now, his his little class, elegance, swag, yeah, 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 everything. Yeah, yeah. He looked like the guy for yeah, yeah. me back then. So, so yeah, man. Yeah. Well, you're right, man. No, I hear you. Well, you're right, different black people as well back in that day. No, I hear you. Yeah, I, I mean, you, that's yeah. why I'm an Arsenal fan. I hear you. Just you. like you, bro. you yeah. represented. Yeah, mate. Shout out to Ian Wright, bro. Mm-hmm. You need a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, and the one. You know where we're going. You know. You worked it out yet? No, I haven't. Ronaldo or Messi, homeboy? Oh, this is not even an issue, man. I know. I get frustrated. This ain't a debate. Yeah. Oh, is it not for it's you, bro? Not a okay, so it's messy all the way. Okay, then. it's messy all the way. I get like people start talking about, oh, but Ronaldo had to work hard, and Messi was natural. Bro, it's just a whole load bro. of rubbish. Bro, we had the two footballers up here. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Wes and to Dave, and the dip on the, Actually, it was Dave and it Dave Barney, ex Blues player, ex defender. You know, Dave. Mm. Bruv, this man was just on Ronaldo, 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 nah, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Nah, man. No, no, no. I think, I think, I think, I, I appreciate Ronaldo. I love him as a player, yeah? yeah? But I feel like what he's done, he's almost allowed stats and analysis to dictate the game. Yeah, and yeah, And he's yeah. killing the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like what's happened is he's... He scored goals and yep. broken records, yes. but all round game, mm-hmm. when you see a man's touch, taking on a man, mm-hmm. what he does, one twos, that that comfortability on the ball during the game, not just scoring goals. Yeah, yeah. All right, he, he turns up and he scores goals in the time when you need him, yeah? But Messi's all round game, he turns up, scores goals, but in the middle of the pitch, he's picking up the ball, dribbling past three man, 
Do you know I mean, attracting four players around him. Yeah. No one's, no four players are going to Ronaldo when he's out there. When nope. he's in the box, nope. they're on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. Messi's got this different level of respect in it. So I'm saying it's not even, a, and Messi's had to work hard. When people give me that, oh, Ronaldo's worked hard, Messi's yeah, yeah, had yeah, to yeah, work yeah. hard. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Not having it. I'm not having it at all. Look how small he was when he, when he first started. Of course, bro. You get me? Sorry, man. Yeah. And like I say, see, I always go back to school because school for me is <laughs> the benchmark. When a man gets blocked in school, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know, it's like, all right, who, the last two players, who are you going to pick, Ronaldo or Messi? I'm picking Messi. Yeah, okay. I know mm-hmm. Messi. He's gonna he's gonna dub five man to score a goal. Because Ronaldo, he's probably he's the type of guy he's taking his ball on. Mm. Things don't go his way. Not definitely. I'm going on. Oh, vex. I'm yeah, vex. Yeah. You get me? Hundred Me- percent. Messi's Messi's tearing up his trousers. He's sliding, tackling on the concrete. Yeah, yeah. He's doing it all. You get oh, me? Definitely. Definitely. You know what I mean? So. And and it's what he brings to the team, innit? I would love to see their assists yeah. next to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, see yeah. what one player's. I don't think that's ever really put out there. So I'd love yeah, to yeah, see yeah. their assists and what true, they contribute true, true. that way, innit? It's true. But yeah, it's that's true. not even a debate. Any of all the Ronaldo fans, they just need to wise up. There you go. Speaking, there you, you go. I mean? There's a guy behind the camera who's a Ronaldo fan, but yeah. we won't even talk about it. Yeah. Bro, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you oh, on love, the show, love, man. Love, Much love. love. I'm going to have to have you up here up again, bro. Oh, Let's whenever, do it, man. man. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah. It's been the Gen Music Show. It's been my guy, Omar Beckles. Mm. Do you want to actually give out your any social media, any more, anything you want to say, bro? You know what I mean? Is there anything you want to. Add. You want to give out your social media? You don't have to. Yeah. Well, social media is my name, Omar Beckles. Um, but yeah, no, nah, there's nothing really that I want to add. Um, but no, no, one thing I do want to add. If you want a DJ, yeah, my guy, <laughs> DJ Jamo. <laughs> you need a DJ, he's the guy. There Serious. you go. You Knows see, his stuff. So there yeah. you go. Let, <laughs> let him make next man praise and at your own lips. <laughs> you, hear me? you hear that, Roger? So yeah. <laughs> It's been the Gen Music Show. It's been myself, DJ Jamo. It's been my, my boy, Omar Beckles. This is how we get down. Yeah. We talk faith, we talk God, we talk music, and we have a little bit. We have a catch up, man. So until next time, peace out, man. Love.